been a long day, and um, you know, as you all saw, we made uh, two picks today: one defensive lineman, one running back. Uh, I'm sure we want to start with the defensive lineman, and you want me to enunciate his first and last name. I will do it to the best of my ability. I think uh, on our second pick at 59, to know Passigno, uh, defensive end from Villanova, uh, we selected, and uh, we feel very good about him. How do you pronounce his last name? Very nice. His five technique. You know what? I think you know there was a time. I think he can do it because he understands how to use his length, and he's he's got long levers, long hands. He understands how to use his length. Um, I could envision him kicking down at the three and passing situations and doing like Justin Tuck used to do for the Giants when he would kick down at the three technique and, and disrupt. The, I'm not comparing him, but I'm just saying use him in that type of scheme. He's only played three years of high school football, and to see his development every year is made a steady, 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 you know, incline. And, and, and I like that, especially, you know, he's a 1AA guy. I believe he's 1AA All-American. You know, I fight for those, you know, 1AA All-Americans. I was one myself. But, you know, I really think he's got the upside for him is, is excellent. I do. What he's got is he's got a unique ability to get off the football for as long as he is. And he is so strong. You all will see in, in training camp how strong he is. But what is fascinating, his pads keep getting lower every year. And the length that he uses to create separation is really impressive. He likes football. Awesome. Like, if you had, like, if Therese had an all-juice team, he would be on Therese's all-juice team. <laughs> well, let's get this score. I think Jordan Willis is a heck of a football player. Great kid. We had him in here uh, for the local pro day. Had a chance to really visit with him. And actually, he and I, during the course of the next 10 days or so, had, had texted each other, uh, you know, just different thoughts and different things. Uh, we had projected him as an outside linebacker and not an inside and not a defensive end. Where with uh, Passano, what we're going to do is use him as a five technique, and that's kind of what we made that decision on the defensive line to kind of go that route. Well, I would think, just looking at his frame, I think he's at least 300 pounds. He's he's 289 pounds right now, and he looks lean. Well, I had heard the um, the two scouts who had gone into to Villanova had talked very highly of him, and this was really my first exposure to him was at the Senior Bowl when I saw him, and then I saw the week's development there. I was really impressed, and then when you go and watch the game, how he plays, relentless, high motor, good enough to make Therese Paylor's all-juice team, and understands how to use his arm length. The guy played really good. I don't know if it, it's a trend now. I, I know from our team where we are right now, I think with the coaches that we have in place, the ability to coach at those different positions, I think you can do these types of things. Now, now Toledo, let's take, for example, Toledo played, you know, they're 1A, two, I mean, they're, they're major. I mean, yeah, but, I mean, they're pretty good. And they play big-time football. And um, now Kareem has played big-time football. So I don't think that's a stretch. You know, you could say mid-major it could be a stretch, but I don't really believe that because the way he ran the football tells me that he can play, run with anybody. Um, you know, one double. You know, one double A players. You know, they come in. I can remember. You know, Sean Jones. He went to Northeastern University somewhere, and he made a good transition. Um, but they're guys. If you have athletic traits, and you have to want to be really good. And you have good quality coaches. That transition should be pretty easy. That, that's all. I have no problem with you know good guys with chips on their shoulder that want to prove to everybody they're pretty good football players. I thought he did a nice job last year in development that, and he will continue to develop these players. And you know, here's another piece for you to see if you can mold him. Well, no, not really. I mean, right now where you're sitting now is you're starting to see runs that 
at certain positions. I'm sure all the defensive linemen or most of them have gone. Offensive linemen have gone. Um, so right now it's get back to that uh, draft room tomorrow in the morning, sit down with the scouts and kind of get our game plan ready for day three and let's attack that thing and then we'll have to hit college free agency.